This week on This Is Africa, we're back with the three boys from New Hampshire as they fight adversity, a lot of flies, to take home some of Zambia's most treasured trophies. Folks, this is a really, really fun one. You don't want to miss it. Get comfortable. Let's get busy. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. The first time I went to Africa, I went to South Africa. And I threw it up between a kudu and a gemsbuck. And I went with the gemsbuck. And then I'm like, we're going to go to wild Africa. I want to see if I can get the, the gray ghost. And boy, we put some time in for those kudu. I mean, it was day in, day out, winded us, bad tracks. I mean, anything that could happen, happened. Yes, there's two of them. Oh, we got one. I got one. <laughs> A tsetse fly bites looking for blood, but not all hunting areas have tsetse flies. The other fly that most of the areas do have is the Mapani fly. A Mapani fly is a tiny, tiny little bee, actually. They live in trees and access their small hive through a little conical wax tube. What they're doing is they're looking for moisture and minerals in your sweat. They just buzz around, super irritating, and let me tell you, I don't love them. Wow, they're a handful too, but nothing compared to the Tetsi flies. <laughs> Tetsi fly. This place is the house of Tetsi fly. Check, Matt even carries a scratching stick. Nice. Oof. Tetsi flies. <laughs> yeah, they're not good. My legs are torn up, something severe. I, I could show you my back, but I'm not going to. Oh, they make for great humor with York in the front because you're trapped. So then they attack your legs, so your legs are all polka dotted up. Little minions from hell. They are terrible. It's like getting bit by a horse fly. But imagine getting bit a hundred times a day by them. Yeah, we have a blast on the back. It, all you hear is this. Whack, whack, swear, swear, swear. And guys are smacking them off your head, smacking them on your back. Andy tried to catch one and he punched me right in the mouth the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and I just laughed. I thought it was funny. I'm just gonna walk down under these trees, see if we can find foot here good. Hopefully get on one. Last big job. I'm I'm shaky. I've always been like that my whole life. I get it from my mom. My I'm just my hands aren't steady. So once in a while it's a struggle for me to to get that perfect shot. Compose yourself. Up and have a look. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? I, I think I might have went under him. I think I, I think I shot under him a little bit. I saw him jump like this. The first shot I made on the kudu, I was a little shaky. And right when I pulled the trigger, I knew I shot under him. Oh, 
What do you think? I think I shot underneath him. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I did. Mm. I saw it hit underneath him, so. No did, worries. No worries. That's Next time we'll get him. It's on there. I was very disappointed in myself. I finally got the crosshairs on the kudu that I wanted, and I messed up. Got two times. This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. The bullet, the least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-frame, Scirocco, and the new breakaway solid, all bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. I was pretty upset with myself, but then I kind of regrouped and said, well, I'm not going to miss the second time. So I've got these new sticks from African Sporting Creations. Oh, not new, I've been using them for the year now. And we really enjoy them. They go up quick, they're stable, and they work perfectly. And they're rugged, so very happy with it.
Oh, my man. Are you kidding? Yes. Well done, footy. <laughs> yeah. And and I loved it the way he said that when he was shooting. <laughs> well done, Kate. Okay. Settle down. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Let half it out and just squeeze Rifle that trigger. To the eye. Yeah, that's to exactly the eye. what I did. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my nemesis for years. <laughs> Look <laughs> at that old fool, eh? What is? What is that? I'm speechless. Three years I've been trying for this. Fool, eh? Nice. Well done, footy. You deserve it, buddy. <laughs> no, I got tears in my eyes of joy. Three years of hunting wild Africa. He's eluded me. Now the uh, Lawanga Valley have produced. Couldn't be happier. Tell me. How much of a challenge it's been? These guys have been smart. They've either wind us, be on the wrong side of the river, giraffes that see us, baboons that see us. And tonight it just worked out. York had confidence in this spot. African Sporting Creations. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. He knew we were going to get one here. So, thank you, York. Thank you, Andy. I don't have my A-frame hat on, but the A-frame, the A-frame knocked this thing down. Did a good job. Check the exit. Perfect, out on the opposite shoulder. Awesome. <laughs> he's, he's a special guy. I like him. I really do. I like him a lot. You need to believe in yourself as well. Well, I, after that shot up the other night, I was mm. like, like I said, Uncle Gary talked to me, he's like, Compose, compose, when we started compose. Walking, it was Uncle Gary going, come on, Pop Shaker. Yeah. And I swear to God, I had that. He's like, when you see him, just take a deep breath, put a good beat on him, and squeeze. Mm. Like I said, compose yourself. Yeah. See, now, yeah. Just compose. And I just, yeah, I wasn't a nervous wreck. No, you weren't. I was. Yep, I said, do you see him? He said, yeah. I said, when he turns to the right, he turned to the right. <laughs> Went in here. An art on the shoulder, point to the shoulder. Perfect angle. Pleasure. Thank you. Smoked them. Smoked them. Oh, we're gonna get cocked tonight. <laughs> this is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. I hunt for conservation. I hunt for tradition. I hunt for empowerment. I hunt for the challenge. I hunt for the adventure. And I hunt for me. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. Well, I think if anyone deserved a, a beautiful trophy, it's Footy. He's really been through the through the paces and it's not easy for him to, to get these steady shots off on these animals. And focus, dedication, real good effort and a lot of help from this man right here. Oh, there he goes. He killed him twice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, footy well done. I think it's an absolute epic Thank trophy. Thank you, guys. And, yeah, yeah, and uh, obviously to Matt as well. Matt always brings footy along on yep. these trips. My buddy Ray. Very oh, good buddy friend. Ray. And uh, <laughs> Drop it. yeah, friends like these are hard to come by. So. <laughs> that meant the world to me. I love Uncle Gary. He's my like adopted aunt, Uncle Gary. And um, this is his last trip. He's 83 years old. Still tough as a $2 steak. Well, I started shooting in 1944 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. My father, he worked in the Navy at me. He took me out shooting at 22. So at a very young age, uh, Uncle Gary took me under his wing. He taught me how to shoot. 
taught me how to hunt. I mean, he's very good with guns. His precision is unbelievable. I mean, he's, uh, he's 83, still going at it. He wanted a roan. And he didn't think he was going to get one. He was starting to get a little depressed. We go out the car. When we first met Yacht Retzel, we thought, Matt and I, this is probably about five years ago, what'd they do, send down a kid to guide us? And he was down there looking straight ahead at all the cows. And I'm the only one that saw the bull. That's a bull. No, Yock, Yock's a good guy. Nice old bull. Yep. Gonna put one more in his chest. No. He's still breathing. Let's use a 375. Take. Yeah. Right in here. I'm gonna shoot right, right behind the light, right in front of the light. Yes. That's a cocker. <laughs> well done, Uncle Gary. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, big guy. You did it. Right. Yeah. So this is my eighth trip to Africa. My last one too. I don't anticipate coming back. I'm getting a little old. That's all. What do you think, Uncle Gary? I think it's a beautiful animal. I'm happy. <laughs> beautiful bull, eh? Check how old he is. All the secondary growth is even gone. It's just been, it's been worn out. Old like the old bull. <laughs> <laughs> just like the old buck that shot him. <laughs> well, I'm done. Love you. Went very well. Uncle Gary got a beautiful old roan bull. Smoked it beautifully. And yeah, nice to get Uncle Gary his, his roan, his one animal he wanted. Beautiful old drone bull. And just look at how heavy he is. How he's worn his, his ridges down on the front from rubbing trees. His secondary growth is pretty much all just meshed together, like so smooth. Second biggest body size in Africa. Big in a sable bull. Second to the eela. These long ears there. Eh? And I'm gonna have a bourbon. I think we're all gonna take one with you. The old bullet. This is Africa is brought to you by Ride On Optics. Houston Safari Club Foundation. Our mission, to preserve the sport of hunting through education, conservation, and the promotion of our hunting heritage. Each year we provide outdoor experiences and education for hundreds of high school students. We proudly awarded $2.4 million in scholarships and funded over $4 million in grants. We exist to serve the hunting and conservation community. We are the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Learn more and join today at wehuntwegive.org.
This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. To say this is a, a goal, life, dream come true for Uncle Gary, I think is a little bit of an understatement. Uncle Gary first hunted the Luangwa River. In fact, it was his first time to Africa. He hunted here about, about 300 years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know, Uncle Gary, I think has done seven or eight trips to Africa and this he believes will be his last trip to Africa. And let me tell you, it's been an absolute pleasure to be with him on this safari. I mean, he's completely hilarious. He, he knows he's very old. He knows he's completely deaf and he's just a strong old bullet, what we call them here in Africa. So Uncle Gary, well done for sticking out 21 days. 21 days at 83 years old in Africa in September is a mean feat. So congratulations to you, sir, and uh, to this whole team here. It's been absolutely outstanding. Matt, well done for bringing him. And really, I, I do believe I can see tears in his eyes right now and uh, dreams do come true right here in Africa. They do. Cheers. <laughs> Would I recommend people coming to Africa? Oh, yeah. Uh, if they want to go, this is an experience of a lifetime, you know. The first time I come over, I come over all alone. Just me. I had no idea what I was in for. Stop. Stand still, stand still. Stand still. Pay attention. It's an adrenaline rush. I mean, it's almost like going on a roller coaster and you get to the top and then you know you're going over the edge and then you start down and you're just like, oh, wow. I mean, it, it, it shakes you to the core just knowing the power of those animals. You'd have to come and experience it and you're gonna wanna come back, 100%. I came in 2018 for my first time and here we go with 2022, this is my fourth trip. He's looking for fruits. Slow. You come here the first time, you're gonna wanna come back, especially if you're hunting. It's unlike anything in North America. You'd have to come and experience it. Just wait, don't move. It's gonna go up by the tree. It's gonna rub. See his old rubbing post. You gotta use it again. I mean, elephants are always, I mean, they're massive. I mean, I was gonna get the other side. You're tiny compared to them. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're rubbing themselves on the trees and, you know, getting all the parasites off themselves and breaking branches. Like, it's an adrenaline rush for sure. Just let him move off and we'll get to the river. This is Africa. We try and keep it as unscripted and authentic as possible. I hope you like it, folks. We'll catch you right here next time on This is Africa. Next time on This is Africa, the TIA team braved the sweltering heat on the shores of Lake Kaborabasa in search of Cape Buffalo and big crocodiles.